Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the tallest tower seen in the world. We're gonna start with the number five on my list. And for that, we gotta go back to the 1800s. So the first one on our list is the Eiffel Tower, located in Paris, France. <laughs> So La Torre Eiffel is in Spanish, in French it would be La Tour Eiffel. Many locals call it La Dame de Fer, French for Iron Lady, was constructed from 1887 to 1889. It is the tallest structure in Paris. The tower is 324 meters tall. You can see the tower from the river Seine. The Seine is France's third longest river. The Seine supplies about half of the water used in Paris. The tower is named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. This guy was a genius. Remember that they didn't have internet or computers in the 1800s. There are six elevators in the tower. Three go up to the second floor, two go up from the second to the third floor, and there is another one that goes directly to the restaurant. From the boat in the River Seine, you can check out some of the top highlights and monuments of Paris. can have this amazing view of the Eiffel Tower from the river. It's one of the most iconic attractions in Paris. Around 7 million people visit this tower every year. And this is the show that you can see at night. Eiffel Tower. Number four. For the number four, we gotta go to Shanghai, China. Bueno, aquí está la. ¿Cómo se llama esto? La Oriental Pearl. Y esto es Shanghai. This is the Oriental Pearl Radio and Television Tower. Construction began in 1991 and the tower was completed in 1995. This tower is 468 meters high. It was the tallest structure in China from 1994 to 2007. It is located by the side of Wangfu River, opposite the Bond. The Bond is a waterfront area in a protected historical district in central Shanghai. You can see it on the other side of the river. The Wangfu is the largest river in central Shanghai. The tower has 15 observatory levels of which the highest is known as the Space Module and stands at 351 meters. The Oriental Pearl is the second tallest television tower in China. 
The tower offers a panoramic view of Shanghai city. The antenna spire at the top broadcasts television and radio programs. This extends the construction by about 118 meters. This is the Oriental Pearl. Number three, the CN Tower. So now we have to go to one of the coldest countries in the world, Canada. We're gonna visit La Tour Cien. The CN Tower is 553 meters high, located in downtown Toronto. This tower was completed in 1976. Its name, CN, originally referred to Canadian National, the railway company that built the tower. Oh, you know what this is going to be? The CN Tower, Toronto. In 1995, the CN Tower was declared one of the modern seven wonders of the world by the American Society of Civil Engineers. The CN Tower held the record for the world's tallest freestanding structure for 32 years until 2007, when it was surpassed by the Burj Khalifa, and was the world's tallest tower until 2009, when it was surpassed by the Canton Tower. You okay? The tower has six high speed elevators. It is a signature icon of Toronto's skyline and attracts more than 2 million international visitors annually. The CN Tower. Number 2 the Canton Tower. So we gotta go back to China. The Canton Tower, formerly Wanzhou TV Astronomical and Sightseeing Tower, is 604 meter tall. This tower became operational on September 29, 2010 for the 2010 Asian Games. The tower held the title of tallest tower in the world, replacing the CN Tower, before being surpassed by the Tokyo Skytree. The Canton Tower was constructed by Guangzhou New Television Tower Group. When you walk around the tower, you can see the opera house and different attractions for the tourists.
as the other towers, the Canton Tower is used for a variety of purposes. The tower contains observation decks, revolving restaurants, a food court, exhibition area, shops, cinemas, and the radio transmission facilities. It is the second tallest tower in the world. The Canton Tower. Number one, the Tokyo Sky Tree. The Tokyo Sky Tree is a television broadcasting tower and landmark of Tokyo. The Sky Tree is 634 meters tall. It is the tallest tower in the world, displacing the Canton Tower and the second tallest structure in the world after the Burj Khalifa. The construction started on 2008 and was completed on leap day February 29, 2012, opening to the public on May 22 of the same year. The tower is visible from almost anywhere in the city. This is the Tokyo Sky Tree. I forgot to mention the Ostankino Tower in Moscow, Russia. It's 500 meters tall and is between the CN Tower and the Oriental Pearl. That's all for today, so thank you for watching and see you in my next video. See ya.